Hi, this is Josh. I wanted to show an early version of the anti-stall law that I've been working on for the A320 flight gear. A few things before I start. First, the logic to trip the autopilot has not yet been added. I'm going to do that very soon, just hasn't been done yet. So I will trip the autopilot with my keyboard during the demo. Second, I have inhibited the alpha floor function of the auto throttle. I'll show it to you later. But for now, it's turned off because I want to show how the fly-by-wire itself reacts. If you ever have the aircraft being sent out with the auto throttle in up, then it will also not have the alpha floor function. And lastly, uh, there's a few minor details that have not yet been done. Uh, for example, alpha prot bar needs to be redrawn a little bit. And I believe there's also a change to the roll control. Um, that hasn't been done yet either. So again, early demo, and I'm just going to show you the progress. So first, you can see we're flying along here at 7,500 feet. We have the autopilot and the auto throttle engaged, and we have our selected speed set too low. And you'll notice that the auto throttle doesn't allow us to go below VLS. VLS is the lowest selectable speed. And this is true for the speed on pitch mode also. So in order to slow the aircraft down more, we'll have to disconnect the auto throttle. So I will do that simply by setting the EPR to about my hardware throttle, and then I will press the disconnect buttons to uh, get the auto throttle off. I'm just gonna rotate this out of the way so that uh, we can see the bars better here. So in order to uh, show this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the power back. I'm not gonna idle it all the way, I'm just gonna pull it back a little bit. Let's say we incorrectly set the power and the airspeed starts to drop. Now when we hit just under this V alpha prod bar, what will happen is the autopilot will trip. Of course, I'll do it manually for this demo and then the anti-stall law will uh, activate. So, trip the autopilot. And now you can see the anti-stall law is engaged. We're no longer holding attitude. We're now holding the V alpha prot. Now this is angle of attack based protection. It's not airspeed, be or airspeed based protection. So keep that in mind. I'm going to try to match the behavior as close to the real aircraft as possible, but there is a little bit of hunting even in the real thing. So you can see we're now descending at our V alpha prot and the nose angle is being adjusted to maintain our V alpha prot. So when we are flying along, that obviously means that if we bank the aircraft, the nose will drop. So if I go ahead and put a bank angle command in, the nose will drop more because we're trading off some of our uh, upwards lift for sideways lift. Just kill the flight director here. And of course, if we then uh, level the aircraft out, you will see that the nose will uh, slightly come up. <coughs> so, let's say we were trying to avoid some terrain. Well, we can actually fly a little bit at a higher alpha than the V alpha prod, and that is the V alpha max, which is the red bar there on the PFD. So when I pull the stick back, you will see the fly-by-wire will smoothly adjust the pitch angle to now maintain V alpha max instead of V alpha prod. So let's do it. We're gonna pull our stick back, and you can see that we get a little bit higher nose and we're now flying along at V alpha max. This is the maximum angle of attack accessible in normal law. And now if I release my stick, the nose will drop a bit and we return smoothly to V alpha prot. And of course, we can maintain any alpha between the two. So if I pull my stick back, let's say halfway, the fly-by-wire will target halfway in between V alpha prot and V alpha max. So that is how it works. Now, how do we get out of this condition? Well, we'll simply push the nose down to kick us out of our high alpha condition, and now we're back in normal law. Everything is as we can expect. Our pitch angle is being held. Now, in this case, because we are descending, and I do not really want to crash into the ocean at this time, I am going to smoothly bring the nose up, and we have uh, simply recover it out of our high angle of attack position just like that. So, now what I will show you is uh, what happens when we add power while in this condition. Now, in order to show you this, what I will do is I'm going to open up the property browser and we're going to go into the Fay deck and we're going to set the alpha floor inhibit back off. So now alpha floor is armed, I guess you could say, and uh, ready to engage. So what we're going to do like before, 
is uh, let's give us actually a little bit of, let's, let's not change our power setting, let's just give us a little bit of a climb going and we have improper power setting set and we will see uh, what the system does. So our airspeed is dropping and I guess I'll pull the climb up a little more. And as we reach our alpha prot, the protection once again engages. So that's going to happen right about now. There it goes. We're back in the stall protection. And we're sitting here nicely at alpha prot. We've not triggered alpha floor. Now the alpha floor is what's going to trigger a little bit higher angle of attack, somewhere in between alpha prod and alpha max as computed by the flight control computers. So in this case, I'm going to try to pull back to maintain alpha max. And you can see alpha floor has engaged as our angle of attack increases. Our power is at toga. The fly-by-wire system is now pitching the nose up to try to maintain alpha max. And we now have the maximum energy available to the aircraft. We cannot get any more energy out of the aircraft. Of course, now we're hitting our uh, 30 degrees pitch limit because the aircraft is very light. But you can see that we are now at our maximum energy. We can't get any more energy from the aircraft at all. We are climbing like a bat out of hell. And of course, as the uh, aircraft uh, will move a little bit around the speed margin, you can see we're still maintaining alpha max. And again, uh, I will be uh, tuning this behavior as close to the real aircraft as possible. And we are maintaining our alpha max through a climb. So this is the maximum energy. And no matter what I do with my throttle, we cannot get out of the alpha floor unless we, of course, shut that off. Of course, we press the nose down. Nose comes down. We're now in toga lock. That means I can press my auto throttle buttons to get rid of alpha floor and now we're back in the normal law I'll just add a little bit of power so that we uh, don't go back in the stall law and you can see we're now flying so now of course if this was a genuine recovery we would just smoothly level the aircraft off here and uh, then we're back in business so that was a brief demo of the stall protection laws that I've been working on. I really hope you enjoyed this demo. I look forward to showing you the final product. This is again the early prototype. Thank you for watching this video.